So, seven years after GTA 5's release, we still have no news regarding GTA 6 and when exactly Rockstar Games plans to release it, but one reason as to why the game is taking as long as it is to come out may not be caused by Rockstar Games, but rather the GTA community, and today we're going to be looking at how exactly that might be happening. So if you follow Rockstar Games on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or any other social media out there, you've probably seen people replying to their posts saying something along the lines of GTA 6, or when is GTA 6 coming out, where is GTA 6, or some other annoying thing that is literally not going to make anything happen. Now, to say that Rockstar Games doesn't notice these and is oblivious to what people have been replying to them would be a lie because it's pretty obvious to see they do pay attention to their social media and the feedback they get. However, Rockstar Games has become pretty quiet and reserved when it comes to responding to that feedback in the past few years, which has started to create a bit of a divide between the GTA community and Rockstar Games. And this divide may be what's causing GTA 6 to take as long as it is. A few days ago actually on Twitter, Rockstar News 18 tweeted at Rockstar Game Support asking when the next installment would come out in the GTA franchise, which is an obvious ask as to when exactly GTA 6 would come out, and the support team had responded to keep an eye out for that info on our Newswire page almost as if to hint as to something related to GTA 6 or the next GTA installment was going to be coming out sooner than we expected. Well, let me be the one to tell you, this response has the same effect on GTA 6 as them not responding at all, but that obviously didn't matter. Just googling the tweet, you'll see quite a few bigger gaming news websites ran with the tweet and wrote up whole articles on this as if it means GTA 6 is being announced twice as faster now thanks to this response. Now, taking a look back at the Rockstar support Twitter account and how many times people have asked this type of question, you'll see it is not the first time. In fact, every year, people have been tweeting the same question with different variations such as asking about Bully 2 or Red Dead Redemption 3 or any other new game that Rockstar could be working on. And everybody has gotten literally the exact same response every year. So the fact that this response by Rockstar support has blown up really makes no sense to me, at least. But looking into Rockstar support themselves, it looks like they are a complete separate entity from Rockstar Games, meaning that the people who work for Rockstar Support are probably a customer service company with work outsourced to them by Rockstar Games, and are provided the tools and guides on how to respond to different type of tickets and responses, and have t serious technical issues actually escalated up into Rockstar Games when they're at a level that they can't fix themselves. So to think that they have any knowledge or idea as to when GTA 6 might come out is kind of ridiculous. Now obviously fans showing eagerness for GTA 6 isn't a bad thing and in the eyes of Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive is probably a really good thing to see because if your customers are begging you to drop your next product it's pretty safe to say that it's going to do well and actually sell. So I'm sure Rockstar Games isn't worrying about this too much. I see a lot of people on Twitter saying that Rockstar's lack of communication is making them become more distant from the company and less eager to play their games, but honestly speaking, when GTA 6 does get announced, whether it be from a tweet or an actual trailer on YouTube, it's going to break the internet and go viral, whether you like Rockstar Games as a company or not because that's just a type of power that Rockstar Games has being one of the biggest video game developers right now. Now, obviously Rockstar Games are still profiting from GTA Online seven years after launch, which is very safe to say going to have a huge influence in how online works in the next installment in the GTA franchise, whether that be GTA 6 
or potentially a remaster of an older title like GTA 4 or even Vice City or San Andreas. When GTA Online released back in 2013, shortly after GTA 5 in September, I'm sure nobody, including Rockstar Games, had expected the game to last as long as it has been. With a few DLC drops a year, keeping the game running fine and player base happy. Partner this up with shark card deals and mini events every week, Rockstar Games pretty much has GTA Online working as a cash cow on autopilot, which they have been milking harder and harder every year. Now, as much cash as GTA Online can print for Rockstar, eventually that cash cow is going to dry up and a new release is just going to be mandatory. Now, typically in Rockstar Games fashion, looking at every other GTA game prior, we could expect a major AAA release and the next installment in the GTA franchise to come every 3-6 to six years, basically giving us a new GTA game every console generation. Now, we did get Red Dead Redemption 2 back in 2018, which definitely used up most of Rockstar Games' resources alongside maintaining GTA Online, but I find it impossible to believe that between 2013 to 2018 was nobody at Rockstar Games' many offices across the world not working on anything to do with GTA 6. With the many main offices over at Rockstar, like Rockstar North, Usually, GTA games are developed by segmenting different parts across the many locations uh, Rockstar Games has their employees working at. Looking at how well GTA Online did though, I'm sure GTA 6 and its online are being designed to last, so most areas in the game and the map are probably going to be unlocked over time as drip feed DLC to keep the game from becoming boring too early in its life. And with that in mind, I can see why Rockstar is taking extra long with this game because it's not something they can afford to make a mistake on. Obviously, the next GTA title is probably going to be one of the biggest investments we see in any game in the in the history of video games, to be honest. Uh, looking at how much GTA 5 had costed Rockstar to de develop, and considering that was on the first generation consoles of Xbox 360 and PS3, we all know development times and costs are going up much higher with the current uh, hardware that the Xbox Series X and the PS5 have to offer. So with this in mind, I'm sure Rockstar Games is developing the game to push those limits and even take into consideration the hardware that the next console generation after this after the current one coming out this year uh, will have to offer because I'm sure Rockstar Games is going to try and stretch GTA 6 across as many console generations as possible. Aside from all that guys, if you've been following Rockstar's posts on social media, let me know in the comments about whether you think Rockstar should address the GTA 6 hype that's been building up over the years or do you think they're better off ignoring everybody until the game is finally ready to be announced. As always, it's been Nick Plays Games, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!